and welcome back to Tech It. So it, this is going to be a bit weird in your sort of timeline because by the time you've seen this, there'll be an episode, or maybe two episodes, I don't know, of um, me and Nalzi playing Tech It. So you may notice some things appear in that video that aren't in this or vice versa. Just go with it. Just roll with it. It's fine. So I'm currently, uh, I'm currently trying to make a... Uh, advanced circuit to go in a uh, charging bench because basically I've crafted a load of gems these like little gem things I'm just making um, the actual bench itself there we go and I think I, I basically basically I should start the start at the very beginning a very good place to start um, I need to charge some gems and I'm also going to charge these batteries as well at some point. Uh, I just need a charging bench. It's a good idea to have one at this point in the Tech It playthrough. And what I want to do is I want to upgrade my power uh, from the bat box to the MFE unit. Because uh, obviously the overclockers are starting to just own the power. So I'm just taking them all out again because it's getting a bit out of hand and it, it does seem to be struggling. You can see like everything is empty on power. I'm using a battery in the macerator for God's sake. So I'm just taking the overclockers out uh, for a minute, hoping that it will carry on doing what it's doing. But I basically need to charge, I think I need to charge these energy crystals, which you can see are currently gray in my inventory. I can use redstone to charge the bench, which is quite cool, but is a waste of redstone. But I'm going to just give it a little bit of a little bit of a boost just to get some power going, so I can get this thing finished. And you can see redstone is actually quite effective on the batteries. It's pretty cool, and it just means I can use those in the devices. But let's try energy crystals as well with uh, redstone, because I basically need some. I, I will I will plumb the whole thing in, but it can't deal with it at the moment. It really can't deal with like just dealing with what it's currently got. There's no way if I plumb this in, it's going to be able to charge anything. So let's get these charged first and then I can use them to make my MFE unit which is the next level up of power so we're going to change it from the bat box and what I'm going to do is I've got basically I've got bat boxes all the way down the line now some people were saying well, don't bother with that why would you have it I'll tell you why because one bat box will hold a charge of whatever it is like 30,000 I think it's that I don't know but that'll only charge during the day from solar if you have multiple bat boxes, that's multiple 30,000 units of power. So it's basically batteries. I'm making batteries. That's the only reason I had them. It wasn't because it, you know, the glass fibre cable allowed me to go all the way down and just have one. There was a legitimate reason for having multiple ones. It kept some power stored. But we've gotten to the point where it doesn't work. Like I've got too much shizzle going on. I'm just making with my rubbers. I'm making some insulated co insulated gold cables, not cold cables. The fuck. Uh, I will need a machine block as well, which uh, they, 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 um, I think I've got one lying around somewhere. I need refined iron for it, but let's just make another one. Um, machine block. There you are. Let's make a few of those five machine blocks, which is good because then I can just stick them in a box somewhere and not have to worry. Uh, so let's pop these in here, pop that in there, and insulate gold cables. That's not working. I found out what it is. I found out what it is. And this is what happens when you use the wiki for the tech it's. Uh, it's great and all, but if you're running a certain type of tech it, certain things are different. So you don't use gold in our version. I think we're running like 3.125 or something. Um, if you're running that version of TechIt, you need copper cables, not gold. So of course I'm going off the wiki, which is very, very like updated and I'm not at all. Uh, so yeah, use, use copper. It's always worth checking the comments section because some poor man with a Batman icon had the same issue as me and it got saved and sorted out. So that's all good. So yeah, um, so the moral of the story is sometimes it might not be what you think it is. Sometimes it might be that you need copper instead. Uh, let us plumb it in. 
I need, still need to make her an energy source for that bloody ring, which I will do at some point soon. Um, what am I looking for? Ah, oh, let's put that in there. This is a flipping mess. I've got to tidy all this up. I mean, look at it. It's a bloody mess. Get rid of that. And now we will make a wrench. Yay! And now I can actually fit the magical device. I didn't want to throw that out. I don't know why I did that in the first place. Okay, um, get the ring back on the bar. There we go. Have a little nom. Right, here we go. So, you come out. Bye, Mr. Batpox. We never saw it again. Uh, where the hell's that gone all come from? Damn spiders. God damn it to hell. What are you doing in my room? Get out. It's bad enough the Enderman come in. I don't need spiders as well. I mean, what the hell? Right. That goes in. Now... Is that the right way? No. No, it's not. Um, that needs to be like that. There we go. And then this needs to be... That's not bloody charging. Don't the wrong way, haven't I? Uh, hmm. It might be night time. Or I might need to go and remove all the bat boxes. I have a feeling I'm going to have to change all the bat boxes. So, uh, that'll be fun. Oh, that's not the right way around. For God's sake. For God's sake. I just, oh, I've never been so angry in all my life. There we go. Time is noon. Ah, there we go. It's now charging. Uh, the furnace just blew up because I forgot I'd plumbed everything in. It's all going to shit. How about you come back in a bit and I'll have fixed it. Oh. the bugger are you doing in here? Look, I've told you a lot about this. Out. This is not on. Out. That's right. Oi. Oi. Bugger off. Bugger off. There we go. Jesus Christ, just can't get the people nowadays. It's so rude. So rude. Right. Uh, yeah, you go back there. Pop the stuff back in. It's got full power. Yay, so it's working. Now all the pipes need to be replumbed in, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Let's do that. Now the next thing I want to add is I want to add some, uh, as you can see here, I've started adding a diamond pipe for sorting. So I basically want it to be that if I'm cooking food, which you know is not a metal, <laughs> I don't want it to go into the, the metal chest. So uh, I'd quite like that to be separate, which is going to be fun because I'm not very good at this. But what I've done is I have got Actually, no, this does need to be lower, doesn't it? Because I'm going to cover the floor up and make it nice and neat. So we're going to put that there, like so. Fantastic. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have things like chicken and that going into the chest next to the furnace. And then all my ore in that is going to go over to the... As you can see here, I've put the ore in already because I'm very good. I'm like Blue Peter. I did it earlier. Uh, probably not very well, but that's fine. And yeah, that's going to go off and it's going to go into the, the chests on the other side of the room. Uh, as you can see, I've started neatening things up with the wires. I've got to sort of fix it because the extractor wire just looks horrible. But that is going out, as you can see. It's going out perfectly. And it should be going into... And this is charging as well. well it's not really charging, but it is holding steady. That one there is not doing bugger all, but that's fine. Uh, the oil refinery, which is over here, is sort of working, but not. Because it's got to build up that power. It will get there eventually. I'll have fixed it by the time Nazi comes to visit. I think it is literally just the fact that it can't power everything currently because it's not got any re like reserve power charged up. 
but we'll sort that out and it'll be fine. The coolants are all going out. As you can see, I fixed that now, so it's actually working. It's going into another sorting pipe, which sends stuff, it sends the rubber off to a chest at the top and it sends um, the coolant cells into that teleporter pipe there. And it should come out over here. <laughs> she says, desperately changing the frequency because she's realised she's not got it switched on. Come on, coolant cells. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yay. We're done. So that's rigged up over there. Uh, so teleport pipes are now partly involved. This means I can, when I start, when I do my next bunch of quarries, I will probably set up some teleport pipes to bring it into my my base. I'm a little bit wary of teleport pipes. If they go outside of like a certain distance, they can bug out quite badly. And we have had buggy teleporter pipes on our server before. So I'm a little bit skeptical about that. So I might just leave it. But as you can see, my coolant cells are now all living there. Um, it's all very beautiful. The charging table's wired in. And yeah, it's all good. Hopefully that little update was enough for you just to show you what I'm doing in between what I have been doing. God, I can't do tenses because obviously by the time you watch this, it'll be in the past because you'll have seen Nazi stuff probably. So thank you for watching. Next week, I am going to be building some more owls. More owls are always good. Um, and a village. Maybe, maybe expand my village a bit more on the treetops. I'm not sure. So maybe quite a bit of time lapsing. I will just have to see what I've got time to do. Um, but definitely need some more owls. I know that I want to do a sign for the sanctuary. Like Sips Co has got a big sign. I want to have an owls sign. So I've got to have a think about how I want to do that in a future episode. And yeah, I'm, you know, I need to set up my quarries with teleport pipes and things. And maybe, uh, maybe I look into speeding up my current pipe transfer with some, is it gold piping? But I'll look into that next week. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to make, if, if, if it's for the owls or it's just tech it, then please do leave a comment and I will have a look. Thanks for watching. Bye.